Hey guys, what's going on? It's Tanil and welcome to my channel. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, that way you never miss a video. And for those of you who have been here before, welcome back. You guys, I am back today with another reaction video and yes, you guessed it, this is Bill Burr. This is no mean to know because I am going to see Bill Burr this weekend and I am so excited. So of course I had to end the week with another Bill Burr clip. But before I jump into today's video, I wanna give a big thank you to each and every one of you guys. I love you guys so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all the love and support that you've shown me across all of my platforms, especially here on YouTube. You guys, I cannot believe that this year is coming to an end and it's been a little over a year since um, we revamped this channel and it has grown so much. So I want to thank you guys. I love you so much. If you guys have not joined me on OnlyFans, Patreon, TikTok, or Instagram, you guys, all of that information is in the description box below. So come on over. All right, you guys, um, let me stop rambling and jump into today's clip. I'm really excited though about going to see Bill Burr. So anyway, uh, this is Bill Burr's clip. No means no. So I have the video. Let's go ahead and check it out. There's been uh, the Me Too movement has happened since the last time I was here. Well, no, it had to happen, Jesus Christ. But, you know, I think it's dying down. You know? I don't know. I think they got everybody. <laughs> All right? <laughs> just, just judging by the stories, I feel like they kind of got everybody. Because the first stories that came out, they were fucking unbelievable. It was just guys taking their dicks out at work, like, look at it, look at it! Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> fucking blocking doors and jizzing on plants. Ah. You're fucking at home watching, Jesus Christ, people did this shit? <laughs> I remember this, this one poor woman said she was a PA, went into some director's uh, trailer, and he came, allegedly, came running out, masturbating vigorously while holding a shrimp cocktail. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> I swear to God. I know that's fucked up, but I gotta tell you something. It's a little bit funny that she felt the need to use the adjective vigorously after she said he was masturbating. He was masturbating vigorously. I'm thinking in my head, like, uh, as opposed to what? <laughs> I know there is only one successful way to perform that <laughs> act, and that would be vigorously. Is there another way to do it? Can, can you do it passively? You know, is that how Sting does it? Is that how he's able to fuck for hours and hours? Fans a little air on it, he puts on fields of gold. Just lets that thing rise up. Oh my god, he's surfing. Just letting it marinate, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, so the stories were big in the beginning, like, oh my God, what a bunch of fucking animals. And then they, they just started tapering, tapering off. And about, I don't know, six months in, they just sounded like bad dates. It was like, he was, he was 10 minutes late, the chicken was cold, I think I was <laughs> raped, career over. Oh my God. What about my side of the story? Fuck your side of the story. You have a dick and balls, we don't want to hear it. Yeah. It's really weird how the whole thing, it went from like nobody listening, men not listening to women at all, to just this total overcorrection that anything they fucking said means it happens, you know? They got these right. hashtags like, you know, believe women. Believe women, right? <laughs> it's a little open-ended, huh? It's just straight across the fucking board, all of them, every last right. fucking one of them. Right. What about the psychos? What about the ones that key your car and light your shit on fire because you didn't, you didn't fucking answer a text? What about them? Huh? How about you believe like 88% and that last 12% that's out of their fucking minds? You know, I think that's a fair percentage, wouldn't you? No? Are you too afraid to not believe? Right, that's, that's the world we're fucking living in right now. No, everything right. has just become oh fucking absolutes in, 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 in the States. It's fucking nuts. Like that Colin Kaepernick guy, right? You knew when he was like protesting during the national anthem, no one was gonna listen to what the fuck he had to say, no matter how much he explained it. He goes, I'm taking a knee during the national anthem. This is a protest about police brutality, the way people of color are treated. We'd like to open a dialogue. He got about halfway through that. People are like, my brother's fighting in Iraq, you fucking piece of shit. <laughs> it's just like, buddy, yeah. buddy. <laughs> 
Nobody is saying your brother isn't in Iraq fighting. You're, you're not listening. This is about police brutality. My brother's a firefighter. He watched 9 11 on television. No, 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 no. Buddy. <laughs> Nobody's saying that your brother's not a firefighter. I got a bone spur in my heel. I can still stand up during the fucking song. Buddy, nobody is saying you can't see a fucking podiatrist. All right? <laughs> You're not listening. <laughs> That's what it became. It went from not listening to women to just believe women, right? And then, you know, and then people just like, did you see that story? Did you read this story? You, you can't make something like that up. I always want to be like, well, did you see Star Wars? <laughs> I mean, somebody made that up. They made like fucking 15 of them, you know? Right. People can make shit up, right? You're part of the fucking problem! Get the fuck out of here! You know? oh <laughs> no means no, that's another one. No means no. It's like, no, it doesn't. All right? Wait, look, what? look, no means no. No, that means no. All right, but no, right. stop it. What are you doing? <laughs> oh my God. You're being so bad. Stop it. No. Yeah, that's not a fucking no. That means I want to do it, but I'm afraid you're going to judge me. So I'm just going to make it look like it was your idea so you don't figure out that I've already performed this act with 40 other fucking people. Right? <laughs> but then, then you go to court and you get a bad read and there's some guy reading it. Uh, your Honor, she said no. Stop it. What are you doing? You're being so bad. <laughs> yeah, and you just sit like, she didn't fucking say it like that. She didn't say it like that. Okay, so Bill Burr is hilarious. He can, of course, there's nothing funny about uh, sexual assault, but I have to agree with him on a couple of things that he said. Uh, it, okay, I'm not saying that none of that stuff really happened because obviously a lot of it did, but at the same time, um, like he said, you can't believe everything that everybody said because i've actually heard some of those stories and it truly did just sound like a bad date and i'm gonna tell you guys i am a mother of two sons so i think about that at times when i listen to these stories because i'm thinking what if some crazy chick has a crappy date with my son and then all of a sudden she said me tooing one of my boys how i would feel about that so i think you have to take every single one of these cases case by case you cannot believe everything that everybody says you know um i really do believe and i'm a woman and i'm not gonna sit here and say oh yeah you have to believe every single thing that every single one of those women have said no i do not believe that at all i think we need to take every single story every single case and really look into it um i don't know everything is it's not all just black and white so there i said it that's my opinion okay again because i have two sons and i would hate for some woman to accuse one of my boys of something um that they did not do just because they did not uh get what they wanted or they didn't like the way the date was because and i'll and the reason why i keep saying the date is because i listened to aziz i'm sorry his story and listening to what happened truly sounds like this chick just had a crappy date with him. That to me does not sound like sexual assault. Now I know this is getting a little serious and I try not to get too serious, but this is a serious topic and a lot of men's lives are being ruined. Um, some of these women are accusing people of doing things that they did not do. Now, yes, a lot of this stuff did happen and if it did happen to these women, then yes, those men should definitely be held accountable. Anyway, that's all I'm gonna say about that. You guys, let me know what you think about this whole Me Too movement. I mean, you don't have to get all into detail. Again, this is an old clip from last year. Um, but do you think that it kind of got out of control? I guess is what I'm asking you. Anyway, leave me your comments in the comment section below, you guys. And if you enjoyed my reaction, please be sure to leave this video a thumbs up. And you guys, for those of you who have not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That way you can come back for more videos. Again, I want to thank you guys so much for all the love and support that you've shown me across all of my platforms. If you have not joined me on my other platforms uh, like OnlyFans, Patreon, TikTok, Instagram, you guys, all of that information is in the description box below. 
Again, I'm going to see Bill Burr this weekend and I will definitely be vlogging a little bit here and there. Now, I had said something earlier this week about me trying to record while I was at the concert or at the show. I didn't like mean I'm going to record Bill Burr's show. No, of course, I would never do that. What I meant was just kind of record myself, um, you know, just, I don't know, just vlogging. Of course not record the show. They don't let you do that. That's, so that's not what I meant. Anyway, I saw someone made a comment about that. Anyway, you guys, that's it for today. I'm rambling. Um, I've had like four cups of coffee and I've had no food. So I actually need to go and eat. I love you guys. Have an amazing weekend. Um, thank you again for watching. Until next time, I will see you guys in the next video. Mwah. Bye. God, watch my line for profit, never that I too high to be honest, no mind, all of my blood, my whole mind harmonized with the cosmic, I get signs from the gods alone.